This video was made possible by Dashlane. Stay safe online for 10% off by being one of the first 200 to use the code RLL at checkout. Here at Real Life Lore, we're big fans of natural disasters. We've talked about volcanoes, tornadoes, dropping nukes into hurricanes, asteroids hitting the earth, exploding lakes, lakes shrinking, ice melting, and cities going underwater, nuclear reactor meltdowns, zombie apocalypses, blowing up the moon, exploding whales, and a bunch already about tsunamis. We've also talked a lot about nuclear bombs. So what if I combined two of my greatest passions into one video? What would happen if you detonated a nuclear bomb underwater? Some channels have infamously claimed that a nuclear bomb detonation at the bottom of the Marianas Trench in the Pacific, the deepest part of the world's oceans, would catastrophically destroy the entire planet, and other channels have famously debunked that. Because it's nonsense, but that's not to say that a nuclear blast underwater wouldn't be dangerous at all. Nuclear explosions have strange effects when they're detonated in other unconventional places, for example, like space, where a nuclear blast can create an electromagnetic pulse or EMP effect that can fry or disable electronics. And apparently, a nuclear blast underwater can create something potentially even worse. A tsunami, and not just any tsunami, a half-kilometer tall, radioactive, apocalypse-scale tsunami. The only country in the world that's apparently been crazy enough to develop a weapon like this so far is, unsurprisingly, Russia. The weapon's official name is Status 6 Oceanic Multipurpose System, and its codename is Poseidon. The first public report of the weapon system dates back to September 2015, and the details are genuinely insane. It's a weapon so powerful it seems like it should belong in a bad science fiction movie, and yet it's apparently quite real. Poseidon is an unmanned drone in the shape of a torpedo that can be loaded onto and launched by a submarine. A Poseidon drone could also remain dormant in a box on the ocean floor just waiting for a signal to come back to life before carrying out its apocalyptic attack, like a reaper from Mass Effect. Either way, once a Poseidon is armed and activated, it can have a range of 10,000 kilometers, and it slowly travels across the ocean ominously towards its target over a period of weeks or even months. The drone travels so slowly in order to avoid detection. But when it's nearby an enemy coastline, it rushes ahead at over 100 miles per hour to get close enough to detonate its nuclear bomb before it's detected. The bomb that the Poseidon drone carries is allegedly the most powerful nuclear device ever created, capable of unleashing a completely insane 200 megatons of explosive power and all of it underwater. For reference as to why that's insane, the biggest bomb ever tested by humanity so far was the Tsar Bomba by the Soviet Union. That bomb destroyed every building in a 55 kilometer radius, caused third degree burns 100 kilometers away, and shattered windows that were 900 kilometers away. It was detonated here in Novaya Zemlya, and shattered windows all the way over here in northern Norway and Finland. The shockwave from the explosion circled the entire Earth three times, and despite all of that awesome power, it was only 50 megatons. The Poseidon bomb has four times that amount of power. Unleashing that amount of raw power underwater is allegedly enough to generate a 500 meter high tsunami wave in the direction of an enemy's coastline. That wave would be so high that it's almost impossible to fully appreciate. So here is what the Empire State Building would look like right next to it. The 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami that devastated Indonesia only reached a maximum height of only 30 meters, and is over 16 times shorter than the Poseidon tsunami. What's even worse though, is the Poseidon nuclear bomb is apparently a cobalt bomb, specifically designed to unleash more radioactive fallout than a normal nuclear bomb. This not only makes the wave freakishly huge, but also intensely radioactively contaminated. So now imagine you're just chilling, hanging out on the coast, and you notice a 500 meter high radioactive death tsunami bearing down on you. What would you do in that situation? The weapon is apparently specifically designed to circumvent the capable US and European missile defense systems. If nuclear missiles are heading towards your country, you can at least try and shoot some of them down before they make an impact and you have a chance. But what chance do you have at stopping a 500 meter high mega tsunami? Once the bomb has gone off underwater, it's already pretty much too late. The tsunami is going to happen. 
This is a simulated flood projection that was developed by the University of Washington if only a 100 megaton bomb was detonated underwater off the coast of Long Island. But even a 100 megaton bomb would apparently flood the entirety of Long Island, all of New York City, and significant portions of Connecticut, New Jersey, and other areas. As mentioned previously, the Poseidon bomb has double that amount of power. A 500 meter high tsunami would be taller than every single building in New York except for the One World Trade Center, and it would still be very close. Everything in the city would be destroyed, and the highly radioactive water would linger around and poison the ground and the drinking supply. It would be absolutely catastrophic, and the Russian Navy has allegedly already ordered 30 Poseidon armed drones to enter into service, with half of them going to the Northern Fleet in the Arctic Ocean and the other half going to the Pacific Fleet based in Vladivostok. The Poseidon drones are a weapon only of last resort, with enough power to give their operators the equivalent power of an angry god from a thousand years ago. They are to be used only as a last-ditch effort when all other hope for Russia during a war seems lost. They will probably and hopefully never be used, because once initiated, there's never any going back. I challenge anybody watching this video to come up with a good defense or solution against a Poseidon drone attack down in the comments, because I genuinely can't think of a good one. Every attack is eventually met with a defense that's capable of beating it, and every defense is eventually overcome by a new attack idea. It's always a constant arms race, and it's happening right now around you on your computer or phone whether you realize it or not. The best defense that you can use online to keep your account secure is using a different password for every website account. But the problem with that is that you'll probably never be able to remember all of them, unless you use Dashlane. Dashlane securely stores all of your passwords in one place and autofills them when you go to log in. But more than that, Dashlane is really the only app you need to stay safe online because instead of just going about your digital protection piecemeal by getting a VPN, a password manager, secure file storage, dark web monitoring, and more, you can just simply use Dashlane for all of that and it will protect you from every angle. You can start using some of Dashlane's features for free or for less than the price of most standalone VPNs, you can get Dashlane Premium with all of their features for 10% off by being one of the first 200 to use the code RLL at dashlane.com slash RLL. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next week.